Hey guys, in this episode of Ask Bloop, we're going to talk about what software is good for beginners, uh, some good animation school recommendations, and where I render my short films. Which is the easiest animation software which can be used by beginners to start doing animations? Well, when choosing a program uh, for beginners, an easy program to get into, uh, you have to think, do you, do you want to go to 3D or 2D? For 3D animation, I would recommend Blender since it's free. You can just go on blender.org and download the software for free. Uh, so I think beginners would appreciate that uh, as opposed to Maya or, you know, 3D Max. Softimars, they're all like really expensive, thousands of dollars for each. So I would I would say that if you're more into motion graphics, Cinema 4D is a really great option and it's cheaper than the industry standard 3D programs. So that's something that's, and it's very intuitive too and works great with After Effects. That's something that's really fun to get into and pretty easy to learn. If you're talking about 2D animation, I would recommend either using Flash or Photoshop. They're both pretty cheap and really easy to get into. Photoshop is really great because it has awesome drawing options, like a drawing capabilities built into it. And they've added an animation timeline option so you can actually draw frame by frame and animate uh, in kind of like a Disney traditional style and get pretty good results. Flash also have that option of frame by frame drawing, but it also has some other very animation oriented uh, tools built into it. A lot of YouTubers use Flash for their animation, like uh, funny animation sketches. Uh, there's a lot of channels like that. So that's two things that I would say pretty easy to get into. Danielle asks, what are some good schools to go to learn animation? I just applied to the Art Institute. Hey, Danielle, the picking a school question is, is, a, is kind of a hard question. There's no right answer to what, what school is great for animation. There are a few leading schools in the industry that are known for like, the best animation programs. Uh, Gobelins in France is one of them. Sheridan in Canada is considered one of the best 2D animation programs and their 3D animation is pretty good too. Ringling and uh, CalArts have really good character animation uh, programs. SVA, that's the school I went to, has a really great computer arts department. It's more oriented to the 3D pipeline in general. So modeling, texturing, rigging, compositing. It has animation too, but it's not, it's not the strongest program for people who want to just do animation. Um, if you want to be a generalist, that's probably, I would say, one of the best schools to go to. Now, there is another option that I think is really good, especially for those with a lower budget. Uh, Full Sail University has really, really great online programs that are much cheaper uh, than all of these four-year programs, and they teach you exactly what you need to start animating. So they're very uh, career-oriented. They teach you the technical skills only, and you're pretty much guaranteed to be able to animate well after one of those, those courses. Uh, animation Mentor also has really good uh, animation programs. I've, saw, I've seen their demo reels for the students that came out of it, and it's really good. So if you just want to, you know, get into animation as quick as possible, you don't want to spend tens of thousands of dollars, that's, that's a really good option, I think. And it's online, so you can do it from in wherever you are. Matthias asks, where did you render your short films and how long does it take to render them? Hey, Matthias, uh, my two short films that I made, uh, the first one was Food for Thought. That was a student film that I did at SVA. So I rendered it at the school's render farm. Uh, the renders were really long. I still didn't really figure out why they were so long. It took me about half an hour to 40 minutes per frame to render, which was which is insane. I then managed to lower it to about 15 minutes a frame, which is still way, way too long. It, it should be a lot quicker. There was probably some technical thing that I did wrong that I couldn't figure out. Um, but I rendered everything at the farm there, so I was able to send out renders and have it, you know, render during the weekend or during the night because it was working 24-7. Um, my second film, Lift Up, I actually rendered everything on my own iMac. That, that's actually a new iMac, but my previous iMac, the old one that I had, was the one I used to render it. It's a 2010 iMac mid-range. It was an i3, very, like, basic computer, and I rendered everything on it, and it was super fast. I actually used Maya software to render it, which is really surprising because I think the you know it looked the renders looked pretty good, and Maya software is the most basic renderer that Maya has. It's not V-Ray or Mental Ray, 
So I think if you're really if you're really creative and you find way in compositing to make up for uh, not amazing renders, you can get a lot out of very fast and simple renders. And I actually have a tutorial that I made on how I made those renders so fast and how I turned them using Nuke into what they looked at the final film. So you can check it out. All right, guys, thanks for watching Ask Bloop. Uh, to send your questions, just go to Twitter and use the hashtag Ask Bloop and send any question you want. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and go to bloopanimation.com.